<laughs> okay. Well, let's just head over to the Mastercraft Kitchen where our resident chef Mark's making recipe number two from the chicken yesterday. So what are you making with it today? Right, so on the menu today we're doing chicken ramen and we're going to use the bones, okay? So we're using every part of the chicken today. We've got the carcass there. We're taking the meat off yesterday and we're going to make a stock. So that's what we need to do first, make a stock and we get a really good flavoured ramen. So we're just going to put the bones um, in a pot, we're going to cover it with some water, bring it up to the boil and then we're going to add some flavours in there, some vegetables and some um, herbs and spices. So it's just a stock, so you just want to roughly chop this. So we've got some onions going in there, we've got some bay leaves, some thyme, a um, bit of garlic, so you don't need to peel it, just cut it in half, just release all those flavours. We've got some peppercorns in there as well, a few carrots, and some leeks and celery as well. And then all we want to do, bring it to the boil, turn it down for a simmer, and you want to cook it for about four hours, right? Just slowly simmering away, and then it's going to extract all this flavour, strain it off, and then it's ready to use. Um, so later on we'll change it into a ramen. Um, but if you do this every time you, you, you know, get a whole chicken and you break it down, you can freeze this stock. So you can pop it in your freezer and then just bring it out when you want and just, you know, make soups out of there, make sauces, anything you want. It's a really handy thing to have in the freezer. So pop it all in there. Bring it up. And important thing making a stock, always got to skim it because there's a lot of fat on the chicken breast. You just want to keep skimming it and then you won't have, you'll have a nice, clear, um, tasty stock rather than a cloudy one. So... That's our stock. And then a little bit later on the show, I'll uh, show you the stock, because obviously this is one that we made earlier, because we haven't got four hours to uh, spend in the kitchen now. Uh, come back a little bit later. We're going to flavour it with some miso and soy and all these beautiful ingredients here. And we've ch uh, saved those uh, little fillets as well from yesterday, and that's going to give us a little bit of chicken. It's over to Mike and Mark and Vince in the Mastercraft Kitchen. Thank you very much, Mel. Yes, that's right. We've got Vince Harder, who for tonight is up for four Pacific Vodafone Music Awards. So good luck for that tonight. We're going to talk some more to you soon. Thank you. But will you win an award for your cooking skills? Cooking. Um, Do you cook let's much? See. I, I overcook, <laughs> yeah, and I undercook sometimes. So. All right, well, you're in the right. I'll learn <laughs> see how we go. I'm going to chicken, you're fine. No, no, you're right. Okay, so we've, we've, um, t what we've done, Vince, is we've broken down a chicken, and we're right. using it over three days. So today we're making a chicken ramen soup, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. Yummy. Where are we at, Mark? Right, so we've got the stock boiling now. So, I mean, that's only been sort of like about sort of half an hour or so. But after four hours, you strain it off, and you're left with this. So you've got a nice colour in there, full of flavour, so it's great. And then you're ready for the next stage. So I've just got a little bit of um, sesame oil heating up there. Right. Mm. Did it's Vince do this? Look at that. He's yeah, really good. Vince has yeah. been doing this in the break. Oh, you know. Can he cook? Look at that. He can cut awesome. shapes on the dance floor <laughs> and he can cut up some veggies and what is that? Garlic? Yeah. Uh, ginger. Ginger. Yeah. So ginger, garlic and a little bit of spring onion. So I'm just going to take that off the heat because we're nice and hot. Right. And I'm just going to sort of gently cook that and that's going to give us heaps of flavour. So it's gonna, that's going to be the base of our ramen. Smells good. Okay. Get all that. We'll get all that in there. Maximise the flavour. This is a good way actually to save a lot of money because you get one chicken, and chicken can be quite, you know, reasonably priced. Yes. You get one good chicken, you break it down, you store it correctly over three days, and you've got three fantastic meals. Well, that's it. And uh, and sometimes it's cheaper to buy whole chicken than just buy the breasts. Nice. You know, and it's not much work as you saw yesterday. Mm. Um, when it comes to chicken, Vince, are you a breast man, a leg man? Um, else? I'm a leg man. You're a leg man? Yeah, yeah, I love the legs. I love, uh, you know, honey soy chicken. Oh, yum. Yeah. Okay, cool. We remember that. <laughs> <treat tonight. laughs> yeah, nice. See, there you go. You're on. Right, so, you, so we just soften those now in the sesame oil so you can smell all those aromas coming out yeah, now. Mm. Definitely. So that's great. So let's put the stock in now. So I pop the stock in and we're just going to bring that to the boil now. Okay. And then that's going to get all that flavour sort of imparting into the stock. And then we've got some miso paste as well. So we'll get, get a really good base. A little bit of soy. And then we've got all these vegetables just to put through the uh, soup at the end. But this is always going to be last minute. So you want to concentrate. Takes your time um, to get flavour in the stock. And then we're just going to bring it up to the boil and we're flavouring it with all these flavours now. And we're going to simmer it, get all that flavour in there. And then all these ingredients are last minute. Like even the chicken, it's literally going to take... 30 seconds to a minute to cook. Okay, is there any specific vegetables or any specific mushrooms you should be using? Well, I mean, for this recipe, uh, and you know, most Asian recipes, uh, shiitake mushrooms are right. really good because they're quite spongy and they're great in soups because they sort of soak up all that moisture right. in there. Okay. But if you can't find these, you know, butter mushrooms, Swiss browns, you know, or any vegetables, whichever you like. Okay. You know, pop them okay, in, so you know. Hard and fast rolls, that's good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, it, this cooking's all about, you know, 
use ingredients what you like and then hopefully taste nice. And I enjoy it. And with your stock here, you can freeze this, can't you? Because this is our stock here that we're boiling up at the moment. So this is the finished version. Um, you can freeze this in containers. Or another good tip, Vince, you told me another good tip before on the break. Yeah, that's right. I think you could uh, freeze it, put in an ice cube tray. Yeah. Yeah, it's perfect. Good yeah. way to do it. Yeah. yeah, store it in there. Just don't get it mixed up when you're having like a, <laughs> a whiskey and coke and put the, uh, oh, yeah. the stock in I've there. I've done that before. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, it might get some extra flavour there. <laughs> right, so we're just slicing the shiitake mushrooms and uh, bok choy as well. So this is this is a great vegetable. So, you know, you put this in the soup last minute, you've got a nice crunchy stalk, and then you've got a wilted top. So it's almost like uh, two textures in one vegetable. Nice. So basically, you're just going to take the... Um, just the core off, and then it will just split the leaves. Right, Spread nice. them all out, and it's a good idea just to wash these. Okay, okay. cool. Wash them dirt out. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So stock's coming up to boil now. So I'm just going to put the miso in and whisk that in, and the soy as well. So, I mean, you've got a recipe at home, so you can follow the recipe, but use your own taste as well, you know? Taste it, if you want more soy in there, if you want it saltier, put more soy in there. If you want it more miso-y, put more miso in there. You know, you're gonna eat it, so get it get it to your nice. taste. Nice work. You know what the best thing is about the show, Vince, is that at the end of it, where you get to eat all the I know, I was just like, <laughs> taking in all the fumes, and I'm, I'm ready to eat it. Yeah. <laughs> you can get the recipe at thecafe.co.nz. We'll come back very soon to the Mastercraft Kitchen and see how things are shaping up. Rightio, now over to the Mastercraft Kitchen with you, Mark. How's your chicken going? We are really good now. This first stock's still cooking. We've got the ramen here. It's infused. I've put the shiitake mushrooms in. So you can just see they're sort of softened up now. They're cooked. And then the chicken, the fillets, just cut them into about four little strips. Pop that in. It will not take long to cook. So we're probably about a minute off. And then just the bok choy. So I've just washed it. And I'm just going to drop that in as well. Bring it up to the boil, and as soon as that's cooked, we're going to serve it. So let that come up. And then pre cook some egg noodles, so you can do this ahead of time. Um, have it in the fridge, sort of let them come out um, up to room temperature, or pour some boiling water on just to warm up, or just spread them out in the bowl and put the hot ramen on, and then you don't even have to warm them up. I've got a little bit of corn in there as well, and we're going to finish with some spring onion. So it is nearly, nearly ready. Do you have to use egg noodles? Um, yes, because it says on my recipe. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you can use any, you can use any noodles, noodles you want. Right. That's fine. Okay, and what about the meat side of it? Because I know this is chicken, but could you Well, that's use it. it. I mean, it's, you know, you can use, use whatever you want, you know? I mean, you could, if you didn't have any stock, you could just use, just use water and then the miso paste and you still have a really nice mm. uh, ramen. Oh. But one of my favourite ramens is uh, brisket. Yes. So just do it in the same way, just get some brisket, if you smoke it and pepper it first mm. and then, you know, you just uh, cook that, it makes a wicked broth, makes it really, really good. So there you go. So just make sure you get an even spread of all the ingredients and put heaps of that soup in there. Yum! I can smell it. I can smell it from here. Obviously we're all very hungry at the yeah. moment. It's like can a Chewbacca I impression now. I want the big bowl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, there's a big and small bowl, and there's a little bit of spring onions. And if you've got a little bit more time, a nice boiled egg in there as well. Nice. It's all really good. So you looks... can have the big one. Thank I know you, like you very much. Oh, this looks fantastic, doesn't it? Yum. Yeah, it looks really good. And it's more chicken on the menu tomorrow then, Mark? Yeah, so we've got the last um, part of the chicken, which is the legs, or the uh, thighs and the drumsticks, and we're going to barbecue that. Oh, can't wait yeah. for that. Yeah.